technically it's afternoon now, but um, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Today is August 19th, yeah, August 19th, yeah, Saturday, August 19th, and um, I am up, it's like 12 something, 12.34 to be exact, and yeah, I'm just getting out of bed. I went to sleep super late this morning, like at 5 o'clock in the morning, just up on YouTube, you know so yeah i'm about to get ready to get my day started um contemplating whether i want to get chick-fil-a or ihop like i don't know it's it's a battle right now so um yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and get ready while i'm trying to figure that out i was supposed to be helping my cousin move in today she said um that they were supposed to be getting here like nine or ten and I'm assuming AM because I mean that's that just sounds more logical to me. But it's like I said, it's twelve thirty four and she ain't hit me up. So I guess she meant PM and I hope she didn't mean PM because I said I was gonna help her move in. But I gotta work in the morning and I be sleep around that time, so uh we're gonna see. But you know, um yeah, whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and get something to eat and run some errands and I will take y'all with me. Alright, so y'all going to take this Elf Lip Exfoliator because my lips are looking crusty. And, um, I'm about to put this on my lips so I can get my lips to be looking popping and baby smooth, you know. Chick-fil-A. I'm feeling like um, a spicy chicken sandwich, some waffle fries, and a lemonade. That sounds real good right now. Yeah. Alright. But, um, I want to talk to y'all for a little bit. I'm thinking about taking my my YouTube in another direction. I think I'm gonna go. Alright, yeah, I'm thinking about taking my YouTube in another direction. Um, you know, I, if you look at my channel, you can see that I pretty much got a little bit of everything on there. Like, I got cooking, makeup, vlogs, challenges, tags, just a little bit of everything. And I know when they say, when you're like thinking about starting YouTube or when you are creating YouTube that you want to pick one lane and stay with it but me in particular I always say that I'm a chameleon and I like to I like different stuff and I like change you better stop riding my tail I like change and switching things you don't even know where you going little ugly dude Ooh, folks be irking and they say okay where was I saying yeah they be like you know pick one lane and stay with it but me I like a lot of stuff so I doubt if I would just stick with one thing like strictly vlogging strictly cooking or whatever the case may be so this is what i'm thinking about doing i'm thinking about vlogging of course because i feel like vlogging would take me out of my comfort zone because i am introverted in real life what the heck are you doing look at this man what is you doing oh no baby what is you doing see people don't believe me when i say chattanooga drivers they don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're doing they don't know where they're going yeesh Man, now I keep getting distracted. Anyways, like I was saying again, I'm thinking about, um, okay, so yeah, vlogging will take me out of my comfort zone, you know. I've been doing a lot of reflecting lately, like my birthday is coming up, 
and I'm about to be 23 and you know this is a Jordan year so we finna be balling on them or whatever but um yeah it's just I've been really reflecting and you know I went to school with a lot of people who have like passed on you know whether they had like a sickness or, or they were murdered or just whatever the case may be and like a lot of them get to see this age like you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like people tell us that we have our whole lives ahead of us, but ideally, life is really short. Like, you could be gone at any moment, at any given second, if your time is up and you fulfilled your purpose here on life. And it is a scary thought. It's a super scary thought. Like, like man. So, it's, it's, I feel like it's best to remember that this is only... um temporary like we are a vessel here on earth and we have a purpose to fulfill you know like we're on a mission you know and this you know we're just here for a little while so i feel like while we're here we might as well make the best of it and live life happily and be prosperous and do what we want to do and do what makes us happy so that's the stuff i'm on right now you know what i'm saying like 23 right around the corner and you know this is just how i'm feeling so yeah but yeah i'm thinking about doing vlogging and um basically just doing like inspirational videos and stuff because i really do want to inspire people and just be a good person i always say i've always said this for like the longest time i want to be the person that i wish i had growing up because i come from a small town where everybody know everybody and you know, people got like a lot of potential to do great things, but they have like this small town mentality and you know, they just, they just don't do it or they just give up or you know, they just assume that they don't have the proper resources to do like great things and when really, really they do, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm on right now. And then also with vlogging, I feel like it is a way to express myself because, you know, I'm a pretty honest person. I'm going to be real and raw with you. Sir, you going to stop? You're still rolling. You know, and I feel like for me, vlogging and, and just talking about how I feel is a good way for me to express myself because, um, you know, I don't, I, I'm really, really, really introverted and sometimes I feel like I don't have people to talk to. And even though, like, I do have friends, I have some really great friends, but sometimes I feel like I don't want to be, you know, talking about the same old sad story all the time. And, you know, I don't want to get on their nerves and bother them and stuff like that. At least that's that's how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like with vlogging and posting videos on YouTube, it's a good way for me to just release my thoughts and stuff instead of keeping this stuff bottled in because that's not good that's not good i've done that i've experienced depression and anxiety and i feel like when you keep stuff bottled in the smallest things will tick you off one day and i've had that happen like i've turned up on a couple of people at work like at my old job because i was just harboring all this negative energy and negative tip and i wasn't talking to people and i wasn't letting it out because i felt like people wouldn't understand so this way I feel like I can talk and communicate and get it out. Even though I won't get a response, but at least it's getting out. I'm letting I'm releasing my thoughts and I'm not internalizing it, you know, forever and ever and ever. So yeah. I just wanna be an inspiration to people and you know, spread positive vibes, spread positivity, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I can be myself here. You know what I'm saying? Because in person, you know, I'm a weirdo. I'm a bit socially awkward. I'm a self-proclaimed awkward black girl. And FYI, I've been watching Awkward Black Girl before Issa Rae was like super duper popping like she is now. And I'm like so proud of her because I feel like I was there from the beginning. But anyways, I digress. Um, I'm about to, oh shoot. Did I miss the turn for Chick-fil-A? No, 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 I think we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. We good. But yeah, I'm going to come back and talk to y'all in a little bit once I get my phone.
y'all. So I just got home not too long ago. I went to Walmart. My freaking camera died. I'm such a rookie. Such a rookie. My camera died. She was like, the line was so freaking long. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. And I was like right across the street. And I was like, mm, no, I don't feel like waiting. So I just went to cook out and got something to eat. And then I went grocery shopping because of Starbucks right tomorrow. I gotta go pack my lunches and stuff. So now I'm finna pretty much chill. Y'all check out these um nail polishes though. This attic on the low key, like nail polish. But someone hold like a lot of nail polish. So I'm gonna keep my nails painted. Go figure. But anyways, I got this little color right here. So freaking pretty. It's called Spit Fire. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. Focus, man. Okay, whatever. Then I got this color. I always get this. I like sparkly diamonds, so. So I got those, and then I got a freaking da -da 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 -da. top coat joint. Just to put on top. So I'm thinking about painting my nails. I don't know. I'm probably just going to chill for a while. We'll see. Alright y'all, so I, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but when I get bored, I like to play in makeup. I don't know, I just feel like practice makes perfect, so this is what I came up with. It's a little purple and blue. I don't have on any lashes, though. I don't feel like going all out like that. I feel like I had these buns in, I was like Space Age, Galaxy, Xenon, Princess, Warrior vibe. And I threw on these earrings because I feel like it went with the whole you know aesthetic of what I was going for check the glow oh -hoo. Oh -hoo. I freaking love highlight I feel like highlight is my favorite makeup product out of everything what's up y'all today is Friday August 25th 2017 it is Friday it is payday and I am up and about at 10:32 a.m. I almost at p.m. What's up? I hope everybody's doing well. Everything's going well in your life. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You are the real MVP, okay? So, today I am going to edit some videos. And also, but before I go do that, I need to go take my car to this mechanic. And I don't know why. But I'm like super nervous or scared or I don't know. It might just be my anxiety. But I don't know why I'm like so nervous. Like I guess because like I've been neglecting this responsibility for like a long time. And uh, I need to just go ahead and get it taken care of. Because I've, as I've been saying before, my birthday's coming up. I got like two more weeks. And you know, we about to be grown out here. So I need to, you know, I need to boss up start doing stuff you know that i need to do like i need to be an adult out here <laughs> but yeah um but yeah so yeah i'm about to get ready and go to this man um he's a new guy used the mechanics that i used to go to um i guess he sold his shop or whatever like they used to be really nice and um him him and his wife they owned the shop but i think they ended up selling it or something like that so now i had to find a new mechanic and i i hate it like i really hate going because me being a female in this city you know what i'm saying like i don't really have like a lot of family members or you know people who can like take my car for me and me being like a female they tend to try to get over on you because they, they assume that you don't know what's going on they don't know they they assume that you don't know like the original price of things and how stuff works so they try to tell you this stuff and give you all this information like in bulk to where it's like overload and, and you know they try to get over on you and I, I really hate that like that's not cool to get over on young females and it happens a lot it happens like all over the world like they, they've done like reports and stuff on it and everything so I'm, I'm always skeptical about going to see mechanics but one of my homeboys he told me about this man and the man is African American so no shade to like you know white mechanics or whatever oh they got a yard sale 
Look at God. Oh my God. All right, stay focused. But anyways, you know, um, yeah, the man is African American, and I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know. I guess you can say more comfortable because, you know, I'll be able to identify with him in some way. Oh, almost ran off the road. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'll be able to identify with him some way. So hopefully all goes well. He not trying to charge me an arm and a leg because I'm sh I, I looked up like what's wrong with my car. And um, it's really not that much. So if he's talking some nonsense, then... You know, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do something else. So I just left the mechanic shop, and um, it's kind of awkward that, that um his boss will be back in about 30 minutes. You know, I'm by campus, and um, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna get something to eat and then just chill out until it's time for me to go back over there. And now you're cutting into my editing time. I just wanted to get a price on how much. This issue was gonna be for my car. Bro, did we get an influx of freshmen? Like I've never seen this many people on campus on a Friday. Like we got in, it's freaking loads of people everywhere and I am in awe. What's going on? They are in masses. I feel like this is the walking dead. They're alive. I'm leaving the UC. Got my Chick-fil-A. And boy, am I stupid. I picked the wrong time to come on campus, y'all. So many freaking people. I have social anxiety. But they have changed up a lot of things. Like the UC, they got rid of like the little home cooking place and the little um, Chinese food. Now they got steak and shaking it. And also, well, they, the original Chinese food, they no longer have in there. So now they have Panda Express. <sighs> Just so many freaking people and I feel so out of whack because I am old and it's just like being in there with a bunch of little kids I mean granted they are 18 year olds and some 17 year olds but I just feel so old and just out of place like I've served my time here like I've really served my time here at UCC and it's crazy and it's funny because I saw like one of these dudes he's in a fraternity you're talking to these freshmen. And I'm just like, <laughs> the cycle repeats itself. The cycle continues. He was talking to Albert and he was like talking to them about a party or whatever. And I was just like, <laughs> he's like, you don't want to some, some, some at a party. And I'm just like, boy, I, I, I was them. I remember those days. It's just so funny to me. But now I'm going to go back to the mechanic. Well, I'm going to eat my food first, then go to the mechanic. Is it me? Or when you get, like, Chick-fil-A from, I don't know, like, another place that's, like, not a, a regular store, per se. It doesn't taste the same. Like, I feel like Chick-fil-A on campus, like, they don't put the same amount of love as, like, to the, like, actual, like, Chick-fil-A restaurant building. I mean, it's still good, though, but it just don't taste, like, the same as I get it from down the road. Mm. Mm. See, I'm basically just sitting in the parking lot. The, um... Mechanic shop is, like, right down the street. Well, it's not. It's, like, literally, I can see it from here. I just wanted to go ahead and eat my food because I didn't want to wait on them to look at my car and stuff and then my food be getting cold. Because it's been over 30 minutes. But anywho. I made it to the library. Uh, I left my car with the mechanic people, and um, yeah, I'm just waiting on them to call me and let me know what's up. And I'm about to get ready to edit some videos. So this party part, bleh, probably concludes the end of this vlog. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day.